Do you have anything besides a speed in the deck? You'll see. Alright, step. Drop. Uh, right. To the minion. And I call Dyro Kid. Reveal Grade 3. Mm -hmm. I reveal Grade 3 Zodic Timies to search up for Grade 3 Zodic Timies from my deck. And add it to my hand. And when I've done that, I must discard one card and shuffle the deck. And I will discard the same card. And then I will proceed in attacking you for 7. I take this first. Now attack for 12. No go. Crash check. Start the roll. And I write. Double and goals. Okay. 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 I use a skill. Don't look long. It. And I can search my deck for up to one grade one or lower card and add it to my hand. Heal trigger. Are we going to see an acceleration or something? Stand and draw. I write Metal Party Dragon. He has a continuous skill that he cannot attack on the Vanguard or Rigard Circle, and I have no cards in my blind zone. But when I place a grade 2 or higher Zodic Times on my Vanguard Circle, I can bind Chronodon Z to check top 5 cards. How good would it be if you retire before you can write the grade 2 and he writes it and he realizes that he made a mistake? Uh, there are many people that make worse mistakes. They write this guy, but forget to buy the credit run. Um, I will... Of course, you have the ultimate mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I will fetch Pulse of Revolver Dragon. And after that, I must shuffle my deck. This is basically the only card in Gear Chronicle that searches a card and doesn't put the rest on the bottom of the deck. So that's yeah. actually pretty weird to be, if you think about it. In its pink. Well, they're all, most of the cards are pink or purple nowadays. Um, do I want to do more than that? How many cards in hand? Six? Six. Alright. Ah, uh, wait. Ten to the Vanguard. No go. Hey, Mary. Stand at the throne. Alright, so we the last game, right? The original oh. game stuff. OG. OG. And I attack for 11. No guard. First check. Well, there's a no guard. Second check. You trigger. Oh, nice. Wow, do my bang guard. Uh, there we go. There we go. I correct myself. Uh, you take one damage? Yes, damage check. As I said, first of many. <laughs> 14, now it goes to third. Uh, uh, no guard. Okay. Oh, alright. No, no, no first, no friendship. Alright. Stand and draw. Right. Chronogent Dragon Zetto. Uh, I will use his alternate stride skill. I can. Can pay the cost for stripe by binding and grade three zodiac time from my drop zone. So I bind Chrono Tiger G and I stride into Metapulse uh, Split of Pegasus. Stride skill. I can soul best one. Mm -hmm. That one goes to the bottom of your deck and I can call up to one grade three higher zodiac time from my deck. So I will proceed to call Revenge Coat. Stack boy. His skill, GB1, when he's called from the deck, he gains 3k, 
And if I have no open counter blast, I can counter charge one. Alright. Next, I will use Metal Pulsar's Split Pegasus skill. Flip one copy of himself. Counter blast one. Choose one rearguard, put it back into my deck, and search up to two Zodiac Time Beasts with a great lower than that. So I can search up two Zodiac Time Beasts, great twos. I will call two Cruising Grifts. They don't have to be the same unit, by the way, but I just want to watch them. You want uh, to draw a lot of cards? Yes, because I have a feeling I'm going to be attacked for a lot of time. Next no, you're not. It all depends. Alright, there you go. Uh, Split Pegasus G Zone skill, because I have one face up in my G Zone. My entire front row uh, units get plus one as long as there's Zodiac Time Beast, and as soon as they're all Zodiac Time Beast. These two also get another plus 3k when I have a Colonel Jet Vanguard and they gain this on attack skill. And I will explain later once I attack. I will call Transit. And they get three base and get four. Uh, no, I mean uh, they get two K. Sorry, sorry. Uh, they have three K because of the plus four yeah. uh, one. Uh, that's why. I just, that's why that was a crit. Yeah, the thing I have. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is my draw for this turn. Uh, <laughs> so close. <laughs> <laughs> it was very close. Uh, all right. So I'll attack for twelve. I counter blast one. Check top three to. Fetch one Zodiac Time Beast to my hand, and I will add this one to my hand. And put the rest on bottom attack in the order that I want. I'll guard this one. Alright. Then I will proceed attack with my finger for 27. No guard. Alright. Triple dive. First check. Party. Second check. Transit. And final check. Revolver. Alright, just drive for this. Hey. That was check. Good trigger. Yeah. Oh, Lucky didn't go well. Alright, last attack, 19 to your Vanguard, and I will do Cruise and Journal skill again. And this time. Hmm. I will add Pulsar Bomber Cock to my end. Cruise and Bubbler Cock? No, he bombarded Hawk. Oh. <laughs> I said Hawk. <laughs> I don't know where you're. <laughs> How much? Uh, 19. 19. I guard 5. That trigger is enough. Alright, uh, uh, Transit Dragon skill at the end of battle. When I boost it, I can put in a soul and draw one card. End of turn. I stand and I draw. And I start. I'm gonna attack, first skill, Rising Nova, strike skill, I counter plus one. I put one card from hand into the soul, and I can superior call one unit from my deck, and it gets an additional 5k. Oh, this frog. An additional 5k. Then the next skill of the uh, Great Rising Nova, I can flip, and I can make one unit charging. I'm gonna make hype make a charge here. But well, that's 26 on Fangard. Okay. I will. That's pretty awkward though, but. Perfect guard. Okay. Uh, I will. Discard. First, second, third. Okay. That's awkward. And then I'll attack for um, 
minus 12, 23, and here we are guard. Okay. This one goes to the bottom of the deck. And so. Alright. Step and draw. Stride. This way we left out. How many cards in hand? Enough. <laughs> That's not what I ask. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Uh, Alright, we'll go for gear next. No strand skill, uh, gear next skill, so less one, hit one copy of himself. So he gains the restand ability. You don't want to go for the groovy uh, miracle. Uh, it's uh, on the upper turn. Did you see me drawing any heals last turn? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think that answers your question. I call Metal Party Dragon, and I will call Mary Blood Dragon. I will call Bomber Hawk and use Bomber Hawk skill. I can bind him from the rigor circle and counter. Okay. Uh, then I will call Frenzit and Hypnosis Sheep. Alright. My front row gets 2k because I have now 2. The Pegasus open in G-Zone, and then, so this one is plus 4. So this makes for 70. So. Right here. Linus, uh, Hackathon guys. So his skill is, I can shuffle three cards from uh, drop or uh, or soul with uh, the different crates. Oh, also soul, and we fought from the drop zone. Mm -hmm. And I can put them back into the deck on the bottom, and he gets another, and he gets an additional ten k shield. That's definitely guard. All right. Um, then I will. <coughs> Attack you with this column. Uh, I will use Mary Block Dragon skill to gain 2k for every other Zodiac time you should have on the field. I have 5 others, so it gains another 10. Mm -hmm. So that's a 70k booster on the 12th, that's a 29k attack. I take draw trigger, I get the power to my Vanguard, and I draw one card. Uh, when I have this is the first draw trigger I hit <laughs> with a drawing. Uh, as soon as I give him the power, at the end of the battle, I need to find that one. And this skill at the end of the battle, I can count this one, mine him, and choose a grade 3 and a grade 1 Zodiac Time Use from my Bind Zone and call them in the same column. And plus 2. And then I will uh, attack with the Vanguard. How much? This is 35. Generation Guard. Turbo Line, Skill, Flip. And I can put this one into the soul, and it gets plus 10,000 for every two open rear guard circles. So this plus 20k shield. And it would make uh, 26, 31, 41, 51. So that's uh, no pass. Uh, how much? 35. That's a no pass. Alright. First check. Second check. Hello, oh, Jess. <laughs> Alright. Third check. Heal trigger. Power to the rear guard. Mm -hmm. Cannot heal though. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, end of the battle. I will use this one to put in the soul. 
draw one. Then your next skill, I put three cards from my three zodiac timings from my uh, rearguard circle or my hand. Reveal them and put them in the bottom of the deck in any order that I like. Well, I have no use for you. Did they? For you. Another card, I'll get in it. Order. And I think it will restand. And GB4. And he will lose two dry checks, but GB4 will activate on the second attack. He will gain 10k. Mm -hmm. And he will gain another drive. So he will, sp will be back to twin drive. Mm -hmm. Um, there are 16. What's that? that? I will attack again. Uh, how much? That's 38. Yeah. I'll do another generation guard. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, right, twin drive. Nothing. Crit. Crit power to the rear guard. Alright. Then. I will attack. Uh, for it's twenty-three. Twenty-three with a crit. Mm -hmm. Then I will use a no sheep skill. At the end of that of the unit attacked, I can put a rear guard bottom deck and I can restand a Zodic Time Beast. So I'll attack again. RPG. I will use Chrono. Tiger G skill, at the end of the battle of the unit's attack, I can solve this one, bind the boosted unit, and you will bind it, will be bind anyway, and you, I will put a rear guard in the same column at the bottom of the deck. And that will be the end of my turn. So, so I don't have many choices to make, but I can do a bit. Oh god, tiger. <laughs> if uh, if the Orbiger wouldn't have the crit, I would have gone Hellhard 82 cards on hand. Yeah, I was very glad that I took the crit, because <laughs> yeah. I knew I would be so dead if okay. I did it. Uh, I will. Um, Very, very blank. So I attack for 16? No? Less. 9? Yeah, 16? No. <laughs> Cannot be less. Um... Gold was charged by the way. Not to mention, it's all charged. All 4 or only these 3? Yeah, this can be charged, okay. but all 4 are charged. So this one has the guard break skill. Alright. Um... So basically, if you put something onto the Guardian Circle, which isn't which is a great tree or higher, um, which isn't a great tree or higher, I can pay one Soul Blast to break it. Yes. Is her skill says. Um, at the end of a battle that she boosted, I can pay the cost, which is a counter blast, 
That means bind the face of unit and call to an open rear guard. She goes to the bottom deck and if she was charged I can give it another I can give the unit as back uh, another 2k. I call the tiger pack as charged, then the frog raider, which has the skill when a charged unit is placed in front of it, you may stand. Alright. And then I attack on the hand. You're not gonna use the strike skill? Be careful. The yeah. rising uh, is on the tech, right? Or am I. Yeah, yeah on the tech of the Vanguard. Oh! <laughs> I, I, I thought the strike skill was always on the tech of the, any no, attack that no, you can no, use. No, no, no. Oh. Uh, I, was, uh, I was thinking there are going to be at least one more uh, attack after that one. Alright. Uh, okay, G guard this one yeah. and then. Uh, G guard. This uh, is enough. Yeah. This one goes to the bottom of the deck. And with that, I end my turn. Alright. St uh, stand. And draw. Uh, three cards in hand. Four damage. Let's, let's end this with a, with a bag. Ultimate strike. Into dust. Uh, count the two, you take one damage, everything is grade one, everything is power is one, uh, loses all auto abilities. Uh, is it yeah. only auto? Is it just, you lose all abilities? All abilities. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, also keywords. Everything is gone at that point. Um, I will call. Vanguard isn't the Zodi Taibi, so I think it doesn't get the plus two. And. The call. <laughs> it's very beautiful though. <laughs> good uh, game. Good game. 